For you sure. know, uh, Joe uh, Joe Rogan had that whole issue with uh, the they, they had that montage of him saying the N word over and over, and yeah, uh, he dropped a lot of N bombs. And then uh, and then they, um, you know, he didn't go to like the last UFC event. He didn't he didn't show mm-hmm. up for work. Basically, he said it, he just made up some excuse. Essentially, he didn't show up, and uh, he showed up for this last one. And there were two. One of the fighters' name was like. It's really difficult. It's like nimina mamina mamina, and it's but it sort of start. There's like an it begins with an N and there's a G like three or four letters in, no. and uh, and he's announcing them. He's like, I'm not. He saying took that. a pause for like six seconds and gathered yeah. himself before he began, <laughs> and then he was in the ring and um with the fighter who had won like like this is live on the air on pay per view. Mm-hmm. Um, the fighter who who had won was Nurmagomedov. His last name is Nur- Nurmagomedov. Kind of a tongue twister, especially if you're yeah, reading it. Yeah, that's a tough one yeah. too. Nurmagomedov took me a while. I mean, look, I Joe think... knows the name. But yeah, he goes and thanks to Nimag. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> that's what Bail. he did. Bail. He Pull did the that. shoot. Pull the fucking shoot. Bail. He pulled the yeah. shoot and walked away. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, look, I think I think he knows he fucked up. I I do. I think he knows he fucked up. And, I think and that I... people that he respects. We're like, yeah, you kind of did fuck up. And you kind of like, oh, fucked up, homie. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, but <laughs> but and I and I think he probably will uh, make a make a, a solid effort, you know, going forward to to adjust that that behavior a little bit. Um, what I wish is that like he'd have Jamie Fox on, and and Jamie or Fox Patrice. Would. He needs a Patrice dude. I, you I would R. Patrice. R. I. You need I a would. Patrice O'Neill. Patrice O'Neill would fucking. <laughs> I want part the waters. I want, yeah. I want someone to call Joe Rogan their N word, <laughs> <laughs> like, like 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 on his show, and to just to watch his reaction. Uh, I want that so goddamn bad. Just, and then he puts that. that quote like on a plaque, like he used to have Elvis behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I had someone put one of my quotes on a car once. I thought it was really strange. I drove a car and I, and it was a mod, super modified Porsche to take a left. And I was like, "This shit is boss as fuck." And somebody, someone had that printed out and put it on their fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is boss as fuck, Matt Farrelly. All right, don't do that. <laughs> Weird. Like I put quotes all over your car of me saying um, that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was I you know, I hung out with Joe a couple of it was probably it was right before COVID. It was probably the end of 2019. No, you know what? It was yeah, it was probably end of 2019 when he talked about and I we hung out at the comedy store. I went to see his set, and then he took me in this bar in the back of the comedy store behind the kitchen where the comics mm-hmm. hang out. Oh, and is this it a was, me too story? It was yes, and then he touched, was Louis, he did touched Louis me. Did Louis K. Watch me? He was too strong. It was, and no, it was like the, one of the greatest <laughs> fucking nights of my life. It was literally sitting at a table where I'm introduced as a friend of Joe, so I'm like pre-approved to all yeah. these other comics that are legends. It was fucking next level shit. It was one of the coolest things I've ever done. That is awesome. But he said he, we were talking about he had talked about that day or that that week that he was going to vote for Bernie Sanders, and and the backlash from that. And he's like, dude, I this he's like this podcast shit. He's like, it's a runaway train. He's like, I can't, you know, I can't just like say something to my homie who's in the room, and mm-hmm. then it, and then it's it becomes fucking news. You know, it's yeah. news now, and and then there's backlash and the shit. And so it, you know, that was two two years ago and, mm-hmm. and change, and it and it it was clear to us in that conversation, like, okay. Or at least it was clear to me, like, all right, it's a runaway train, but like, but you're gonna keep doing the podcast and keep talking to these kind of people. So like you kind of gotta accept some responsibility, you know, to your to your audience. If it's gonna be this and you're gonna keep doing it, and you're not just gonna talk to comics and fighters, you're gonna talk to intellectuals and politicians and scientists, you know, we need to have some some accountability. So so the the backlash he's received, um, both with some of the, the the vaccination people and 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 whatever, you know, I think I think I hope you know he seems like he's someone who wants to learn. So I hope that he's obviously his bottom line has not been impacted, and 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 yeah, I don't, you know, we're not we're not close or anything, but uh, you know, I'm just, I chat with him once in a while, but like I just hope that I hope that he takes that sort of account because he's more powerful 
than fucking news anchors and politicians and journalists. Like he's not a, he's not mm-hmm. like he's not a journalist. Like he's more powerful than a journalist. Like, he's way more. The, if you look at way the, more the, powerful. If you look at ridiculous the, numbers, the, the 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 ears that he puts words into versus mm-hmm. like anyone else who speaks into a microphone, it, it kind of pales in comparison. It's 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 a big margin. It yeah. is crazy. Think, it's like you, you know you think of like Pepsi as Coca Cola's rival, right? Like, like I can't remember what the ratio is, but it's like eight to one or something. Like, oh yeah, Coke, Coke to Pepsi. Coke. Yeah. yeah, Pepsi's yeah. not even close. Yeah, yeah. It's no, and it's the same thing. His num his numbers are so crazy. Oh yeah, like you'll see um, the the media I, comparison numbers where they're like, oh Tucker Carlson with three million and Rachel Maddow with one point seven or whatever it is, yeah. and it's like, oh that's interesting. In the last week, Joe Rogan's just his YouTube channel has twelve. Yeah, like, the and new they episodes have, like, probably have three and those million people. Piece. You know, I mean, I don't know about. I don't know about uh, the the quote opinion section of MSNBC mm-hmm. and Fox News, but but certainly the journalistic section, uh, you know, they've got fact checkers and they've got you know there's there's at least some level of um, accountability and and fact checking and stuff like that. So anyway, I I, I don't I I I hope that. Um, that 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 going forward that he kind of understands the weight of his words i wish you know, he didn't have to see i see i'm on the that's other not where we're at you know that's not where we're at you know your but, audience but that, becomes a certain size and you kind of have no choice i i i i don't think that he should be responsible for the stupidity of others because i the the issue that i'm hearing is that the audience has gotten so big that they can't that there's a percentage a large enough percentage of them are absolutely retarded and they can't understand humor and it's actually becoming a danger to society because when when you've got 10 million listeners every day the, even though it's 0.001% that adds up to like 10 assholes out there who are running around now with AK47s we can't do this and it's just like dude it just there's a disclaimer before this thing if you couldn't tell when you saw me smoking weed the whole fucking time yeah and talking to method man sure. a lot, and, and like, like like this is just for funsies like like did you think that joe rogan was a scientist he's all tatted up no i don't you know i don't i don't think he's a scientist but if you're gonna bring you don't like when he endorses on, a scientist if you're gonna bring yeah if you're gonna bring mm. people on that are sort of these you know fringy type contrarian scientists you know now that, that are, that's what are scientists and that's and just give them the platform you know what it's like um, you know you you mentioned that joe rogan took you back into that room and he was like this is my friend so then yeah. everyone was like oh that's joe rogan's friend he vouched mm-hmm. now if you'd went like if you if you'd like went in the corner and broke out like some heroin or something <laughs> and like and like everybody freaked the fuck out like they'd be like whoa Joe said this guy was cool. <laughs> this guy was cool. He's shit. Yeah, that's why he's so cool. <laughs> and, and he's over there. He's over there passed out totally. with a syringe hanging out of his arm. Like a guys. Cool guy. Dude, yeah. he bit Mike. <laughs> he bit totally. Mike. Yeah, I told like, you know, I think I think that's a it's 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 an absolutely excellent analysis, Kyle. I think you're right. You. I think I think <laughs> the 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 endorsement of the guy you can relate to who who is intellectually curious, you know, carries a lot of weight and, um, you know, but, and when, but, and when your audience is that huge and when your, when your paycheck is that huge, you gotta, you, you just gotta exercise some, Here's, you know, where I, I, while you guys have been talking, like I've been looking at the, just kind of like past five years, like mainstream media, like ratings, like, yeah, they they are dying at a unbelievably fast. Oh yeah, like and they're I, dying I, as I, fast I knew as their were. audience is dying. <laughs> yeah, even even faster. Like from twenty twenty, Fox is down over a third. CNN down almost forty percent. MSNBC mm-hmm. down twenty. Like oh well, that's a it, bad metric to use though because you have the Trump factor, right? Like if I bet if you used a wider well, know. but uh, see and like you saw that too, like twenty sixteen. Mm-hmm. Like I still you know worked in the area then, like the ratings you were getting were outrageous. Like whether yeah. it was CNN, Fox, MSNBC, all of them. Like Rachel Maddow at some point in 2016 was pulling like 3.7 million, if I recall. Like she passed uh, the the Fox opinion people at one point. And mm-hmm. since 2015, like it's been a continuous, yeah. just like, and sometimes, and I, I think what Matt said is like largely correct. Like 
the people who use news media on the TV with cable as their yeah, primary news source. Dying. Yeah, they are literally dying off faster than they can because people our age, like, are you, I'm not going to watch. I'm not paying for cable. I'm not going to watch CNN cable? or Fox. No, no, no. Cable? Well, see, no. here's the thing. I don't know why you need cable because, like, there's a there's an app called Pluto that's fucking for free. And it just has CNN and Fox News and all that shit on it. Like, like oh, really? Shit, you write that shit too. Like, Even like, if it's free, though, I'm not going <laughs> to watch that. it. You know what I mean? Like, well, well, like right now, like, like the war coverage because there's a lot of, uh, uh -huh. yeah, you know, it. I, I didn't have CNN because I don't watch that shit. But like mm -hmm. during this, it's you know that's where the, uh, the the White House press press conferences are held, and uh, anytime that like Macron. How do you say when I hate fucking French Macron. names that require you to sound like a piece of shit? Macron? <laughs> Macron? Macron. Macron was having some breakfast this morning. He was having some croissant. Macaroons. <laughs> like, like, Jesus.